This secure file sharing tool enables you to send large files across the internet while protecting your privacy. But the best thing is that you can use this tool for free. Hey, it's Oz here with more cool tools. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you this simple private file sharing tool from Mozilla. Yes, that's right, Mozilla, the people who make the famous Firefox browser. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the tool, and then I'm gonna take it for a test drive. And of course, I will share the details with you of where you can go and get this tool. And if you want to stay up to date with all these awesome tools, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and that way you don't miss a thing. Okay, so here we are at the landing page where this tool lives. So the first thing to know is that this tool is made by Mozilla, which means that this is a solid tool. The second thing to know is that you can share large files across the internet with just one step. The third thing to know is that these files that you send, that you share with other people, are encrypted. So that only the people you trust can see these files. The types of files you can send include videos, documents, and graphics. And for extra security, you can set the link to expire, which I think is awesome. That means that your files are not left stored online. This tool is good for you for personal use, as well as if you're in business or you're a freelancer or a solopreneur, or you have other members of your team that you wanna share files with. It's especially useful for sharing files with clients because aside from security, using this kind of tool will usually enhance the client's trust in you. So this really is an essential tool. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is that if that isn't enough security for you, you can add an extra layer of security by choosing a password so that the person receiving the file needs to use that password in order to see the file. Okay, so let's take the tool for a test drive. Now, the first thing that you'll notice here is that you have a drag and drop interface, which is really cool. You can send files up to one gig in size if you don't sign up, if you don't have an account with Firefox. But if you do have an account or you sign up for an account, you can send files that are up to 2.5 gig in size. Okay, so I have a Firefox account, but for this test, I'm not going to log in. So I'm going to be using the default option, which enables me to send a file securely up to one gig. Okay, so let's do this. So here we can drag and drop a file, or we can use the old school method of clicking the button and choosing a file from our computer. So I'm going to choose the drag and drop method, and you can see my file appear right there. Now this shows me the size of the file, and I can also see the total size there. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drag a second file, and I'm gonna drop that in there and once again i can see the size of that file and i can see the total file size now that's a really cool feature it's very well thought out it means that you can drag and drop individual files and keep an eye on the size so that you know that you're under one gig or under 2.5 gig if you are logged in and of course if you have more than two and a half gig worth of files to share then you simply do that in separate batches Okay, so for this test, I'm just gonna send these two files. Now you'll notice that by default, this link has an expiry and it's set to one download or one day. Now that is super cool. If you're sending this file to one person only, then I would set that definitely to one download. And that means that if you share a file privately with somebody else, and that somebody else then sends that link to a third person, that third person cannot download the file because you set it to one download only. Now I've used many secure file sharing tools over the years, and this is the first time that I've seen something like this on a free tool. And when you consider who makes this tool, then it's no surprise, the tool is solid and it's really good. Now, if the file you're sharing is super sensitive, then you can set it to one hour and even five minutes. Now, one scenario where I can imagine that coming in handy is if you have clients 
and they need a password to access something that you're providing for them. And if it's a different situation, then it is pretty flexible. You can even set it up to seven days. After seven days, your file, your link will expire so that your files are not left online, as is the case with a lot of file sharing platforms. So you don't need to clean up later on. This tool will take care of that. So let's say we're going to set this up to one hour. And now for that extra security touch, you can actually protect this with a password. And as I mentioned before, this can really help enhance the trust of the client in your service, in your professionalism. And of course, it makes things even more secure. So I'm going to type a password here. It's only a short one so that I remember it. And then I am going to click on the upload button. OK, we're ready because I'm only sharing two files and they're not very large. They didn't take any time to upload. So you can see it says here your file is encrypted and ready to send. And all you have to do is copy the link to share your file. So you can either click on that and highlight it and copy it or just click the button that says copy link. Now this takes you to this screen where you can download the files yourself and where you can copy the link again should you need to. OK, so what I'm going to do now is open up a new browser and paste that link. Let's hit enter and see what we see. OK, cool. So this is what the person you send that link to sees. So normally I would email that link to whoever I want to share a file with. And when they click that link, it brings them to this screen. Now here they need the password. This is where that extra layer of security comes in. So I'm going to type in my password and I'm going to click on lock. And that brings me to this screen. And it says here the file was shared via Firefox send, which is the name of the tool. But I'll get into that in a moment with end to end encryption and a link that automatically expires. This is what we call a self destructing link, which actually sounds a lot cooler than a link that automatically expires. OK, so I'm going to click on download and you can see that it's downloaded my file. And that's it. I now have the files. Now, if I try and open that link again in a browser, this tells me that this link has expired. And that's because I set it to only one download. Now, I can't actually remember how long I set the timer for, but had I not clicked the download link, if the link was set for five minutes and I went past that time, then obviously I would have this same screen. This link has expired. OK, so now I'm going to share with you where you can access this tool. You simply go to send.firefox.com. That takes you to this screen where you can either use the tool as I just did, or you can sign up or sign in and send files up to 2.5 gig in size. Now, while you're here, let me remind you that if you want to keep up to date with these awesome tools, then please subscribe to the channel and that way you don't miss a single thing. But in the meantime, take it easy and I shall catch you in the next video.